Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and in this video, I will be showing you how to use the Open Weather Map API to get weather information within your Python program. So let's get started. So the project that we're going to be making is uh, this thing right here. So we will have a nice graphical user interface. I mean, it's nothing really special, but it gets the job done. So it will show you the city. I've just picked Seattle for this tutorial. It shows the temperature in Fahrenheit. It shows the feels like temperature in Fahrenheit and it shows the humidity. And we're using Tink, uh, Kinter for the graphical user interface. So now what you will need to do is to go to this website, openweathermap.org. And once you get to this page, you'll just need to go on over and click on API. And in this API section, you will need to click the subscribe button under current weather data. When you click that, it will give you a bunch of tiers that you can use. For this tutorial, we will just be using the free tier because the current weather falls under this free tier. And you'll just need to click get API key. And uh, open weather map will um, show you how to create an account and get your API key. So what you'll need to do is to just create a new Python file and we will need to import a few things. First thing you will need to import is requests. So uh, import requests. And if you don't have requests, you'll just need to do pip install requests. Now, the second thing we will need to install is um, Kinter. So to do that, we'll just need to type in import Kinter. But the way I prefer to do it is to type in from Kinter import, and then this asterisk, uh, which will mean that it will import everything. And now you will also need to import the math module. So just type in import math. So you'll need to type in import math with a lowercase m. So now we're going to create a few variables here. So the first variable we're going to create is the um, city. So to do that, I'm just going to create a variable called that city underscore name. And I'll set that equal to Seattle comma U S. And, and you'll need to make sure that there is no space after this comma. And the way this thing works is city, comma, country. Now, the second thing we will need to enter in is our API key. So you'll need to type in API underscore key. Set that equal to a string with whatever your API key is. Okay, so now I have pasted in my API key. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a function that reports the weather stats to us. So the way we're going to do that is um, we're just going to start creating a function. So uh, df get underscore weather this is going to take in the argument of uh, the API key as well as the city. And so now what we're going to have to do is we're going to get the URL that we need to actually uh, give a get request to in order to get the current weather. So we're going to um, create a variable called URL. URL equals and open quotation marks. Now we're going to go to open weather map. And we'll need to go into this API section right here. So now we'll need to go under uh, current weather data into API doc. And now we see that there um, are a bunch of links under API call. We're just going to copy the first link. And we're going to paste that in here. So 
in front of the um, quotation marks, where we're going to type in is an F, so that way we can make a format string. So now inside each of these curly brackets, we need to put in the name of these variables. So um, this is API underscore key, and this is city. And what these format strings do is it will replace all the uh, text in this string um, in place of these curly brackets, as well as the text in this string inside these curly brackets. Okay, so now we need to send a get request to this URL, and we're going to be using the requests module to do that. So we do that by typing in request.get, and we need to send a get request to the URL. And now we need to convert that to a JSON so we can actually access individual attributes. And finally, we need to actually put that in a variable, and we're going to call that response. So before we go on, I realized I made a small mistake here. This actually needs to be uh, uh, HTTP colon slash slash. That way we can um, actually access this URL because request doesn't like if it's just api.openweathermap.org. We need to have this HTTP in front of it. So now we can access the individual attributes of this response. So first, let's just see what it returns. So we'll just type in print response inside here. And we will just need to call this function. So uh, get weather, and we will pass in the API key and the city. There we go. And we'll just hit run. And you see that we just get this massive dictionary. So now using the keys, we can actually access individual values and we will need to access this temp value right here. So I've organized this a bit better in this uh, text file that I've created. So you see that the um, key for cord actually gives us the latitude and longitude of Seattle. Um, the weather will give us like um, weather basically, whether it's a clear sky, cloudy, rainy, you know, that type of thing. And we need to go down to Maine. And under Maine, we see that we have this temperature, feels like, and humidity, if I scroll over just a tiny bit, and we'll, all, we'll be using those three attributes. So the way we access this is by um, creating a variable. So now uh, let's just um, create a variable, call it temp, set that equal to response, and we'll need to um, put in the key of main because we need the key of main to access this dictionary right here. So we'll put in main inside uh, square brackets, and in here we're going to type in temp, which will allow us to access the temperature. So now Instead of printing response, if we just go and print temp, and we can just go on run this again, we see that the temperature is 277.67 degrees Kelvin. So uh, by default, uh, Open Weather Map returns the temperature values in Kelvin, and for in my case, we're going to be using Fahrenheit. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually have to put in a formula here. So the way we convert it to degrees Fahrenheit is by multiplying this number by uh, 1.8 and then subtracting 459.67. So now if we print out temp again, we see that it's 40.13 and then there's a bunch of decimals. So now this seems more reasonable, but we don't want all these decimals on the end of it. We just want a good whole number. So to do that, we'll need to use our math module. So right now what we'll do is we'll just temporarily um, do a control X, cut all this out, and we'll type in math.float, or floor. And we'll just paste all this in. And what math.floor does is it rounds everything down. So um, from this, we're just gonna get 40, 
So let's run this again. And as you can see, we get a 40 right here. So now we're going to have to do the same thing for uh, humidity as well as um, the feels like temperature. So I'm just going to copy this thing twice. And for humidity, we don't need to uh, round this down. So we can just copy that one line. So the key for um, the feels like temperature, I just scroll back a bit, is feels underscore like. So I'm just going to copy that. And in place of temp, we can just type in feels like. And finally, we can change all the variables over here that say temp. We can change that to feels like. And now finally, we'll need to put in humidity. And the key for humidity is just humidity. So let's go back and in place of temp, we can just type in humidity. And so now let's just go through, make sure everything works. So we'll type in feels like first. And we see that it feel, the feels like temperature is 33 degrees. And we can go and um, see what humidity is. So humidity on that, and that is 38%. So now that we have all of these values, we will need to return it to the user somehow. And the way we're just going to return that is let's first delete this print statement. We're going to type in return, and we're going to return a dictionary. So just uh, open up uh, curly brackets, and in here we're going to set the key of temp. Set that equal to temp. Set the key of feels like to feels like. And finally set the key of humidity to humidity. And now we can get a weather dictionary by just um, setting this equal, setting this function call uh, to a, a variable. So we'll just type in weather equals this get weather function. So now we can just print, uh, we can print out uh, weather with the key of temp. And if we run this, we should get 40. So now, as you can see, we can get the temperature and humidity as well as the feels like temperature of any city. So if we go in and print out the um, weather with the key of feels like, and let's just copy that and do it with the key of humidity. And I'll just run this. We see that we're able to get all of these values. So that's going to be the end of this tutorial. I will have a part two coming soon on how we create the graphical user interface. So that being said, that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.